brand new series on my channel called Dress of the Month. So each month you can expect to find one in-depth review on a particular dress that I either discovered or purchased because of a trend or possibly a moment of weakness. I will hunt for those bargains and discounts and beautiful dresses like a crazy woman. I have this notebook filled with boutiques and online stores that I follow and keep tabs on for deals and trends. Yeah, that just kind of lets you know how intense I am when it comes to dress shopping. I will always do a dress that is available when the video goes up so that you guys can have a chance to get your hands on it if you end up liking it. And I will always have it directly linked in the description box below. I will also be giving you promo codes and discounts to save your pennies if it is at all possible. I rarely ever purchase anything full price except occasionally Stitch Fix. So before we get into this video, if you're new here and you love fashion lifestyle content, don't forget to subscribe. I do upload every Monday and Friday and I consider myself very, very lucky to get to know you. I would be so thankful if you guys would give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like this video idea. And let's get started with this review. The dress that I chose for this month is this one that I'm wearing today from Lulu's Boutique. This is the ultimate spring and summer transition dress for either a casual occasion or for a very, very fancy occasion. So on Lulu's website, this is called the She's the One Beige Floral Print Off the Shoulder Midi Dress. So the price for this dress is $75. I do have a promo code that gets you $20 off 50 down in the description box. Lulu's has been having a lot of sales recently that's either been 30% off dresses or 40% off dresses. So if there is a code available right now, I will make sure that I leave that down below. There's a couple main features of this dress that make it very, very special. This is an off the shoulder A-line midi dress style with a really pretty green earthy toned floral pattern. There's a removable bow included around the waist so it's really easy to adjust to your specific figure. There's a statement puff sleeve. This is subtle enough to make it a little bit more wearable and casual if I want to dress it down a little bit. And it does come with elastic inside the sleeve, so it will adjust to your arm and it'll stay in place. But it's not that elastic that digs into your skin. You know what I'm talking about? I've had this dress on for a few hours now and I don't have any indentations in my skin. There is a ruffled hem around the bottom edge of the dress. It gives it that tiered look. There's elastic around the neckline too. There are off the shoulder dresses that you are constantly worried that it's going to fall down and you are going to be exposed. But thankfully that is not an issue with this dress. It is very secure. You can adjust the neckline to go a little bit lower if you want. And I think a neckline like this is just perfect and so flattering for this time of the year. I bought this dress in a size medium and I would say either size down or stick to your regular size. Definitely do not size up. This is a very forgiving dress. So if you are anywhere from a size 8 to 12, I'd say get a medium. My size for reference is typically a size 10 in dresses and pants and then in tops I would be a size medium. There is plenty of room in this dress for my curves because of where the elastic is located in this dress. Usually I can tell by the style of the dress if I need to size up or down. In this particular dress, I stuck with my regular size. Let's talk about the quality of this dress. This fabric is very lightweight, which makes it the perfect transition dress for either the spring or the summer. But if you really wanted to, you could get away with wearing this in the fall too. If you do purchase this dress, you might have a few creases to get out initially when you first unwrap it. But how I'm wearing this dress right now is how I received it. I haven't done any ironing or any steaming on this dress at all. So you have an idea of what it looks like without the extra care. So this dress is 100% cotton. There is lining inside this sleeve and that lining is 70% polyester and 30% cotton. The care instructions for this dress are included on the tag in the back but it is hand washed cold and then you just let it air dry. I mean since this is an off-the-shoulder style I would suggest wearing a strapless bra. I have a nude one that I wear underneath this one. I prefer the nude color because it's very invisible. But if you have a colored one, I think you can still get away with it. This is a pretty opaque dress. It's not see-through. I mentioned earlier in this video that this is both a casual and a very fancy dress. So I wanted to give you guys a couple styling ideas on how you can wear this. So to make this a more casual look, I've been wearing my hair down with pearl clips. 
I don't know where I found those. I think I found them at TJ Maxx or Ross. And then I'll just slip on a pair of sandals or tennis shoes. And that makes the look very casual, very easygoing, and very, very comfortable. You can also do something like throw on a straw hat if you are walking out in the sun. And you look very, very fashionable. And a straw hat is a more casual way to go instead of going for a very fancy wool hat. If you're wanting to wear this dress for a fancy or special occasion, for off the shoulder dresses and tops, I like to do an updo, kind of what I'm wearing today. This is more of like a low bun. And then I love wearing drop earrings with this. I think they bring so much of a romantic vibe to the look. I tend to go for more of the romantic vibe, but if you like more boho and more statement jewelry, you could always throw on a pair of tassel earrings and I think that would be adorable. And then of course, I personally would go for a very, very bold lip color. Typically for this time of the year, I would go for more of a pink bright color, but I recently have been loving this Runway Rogue lipstick. It is a fuchsia purple. I don't even know if I said that right, fuchsia. I like to line my lips before I put this on just to make it a little bit more long lasting. So I have the Runway Rogue lip liner in Strut and then I will top it off with this lipstick in After Party. I have nothing against wearing a bold lip in the spring and summer. But obviously that is not for everybody so you could always throw on a lip gloss or something. One of my favorites is from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in Come Through. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Something else that you could do is instead of going for a really bold lip color, you could always go for like a pastel eye look, almost like a lilac colored eyes or even yellow is very trendy right now. So something else that I've been doing has been doing the faux freckles. Um, I'm actually wearing them today and it just makes it more natural, but a little bit more summery. If you really, really want to make this very fancy and you want to put in that extra effort, something that I have been doing has been wearing this Soul Shimmering Body Powder. I will just take this brush and dust it all over my collarbone, just a little bit on my shoulders, just to get a little bit of glow. If you go out in the sunlight, you will be a sparkling goddess. For this dress, I chose to go with a pair of nude slip-on heels. But, I mean, you can always use whatever you have in your own closet. These are just some ideas for you. To wrap up everything and all my thoughts on this dress, overall, I would give this dress a 4.5 out of 5 rating because it pretty much is everything that I'm looking for in a spring slash summer dress. I won't give it a 5 out of 5 because that would mean it's perfect. The only thing that I wish that this dress came with is some type of lining on the dress. It does come with lining on the sleeves, but if it had some, just a very light layer of lining on the inside, I think it would be a little bit more durable. The thing is, is that it would make it a little bit more heavier and probably then it would only be perfect for the spring. So that is just me being very, very picky. And then you do have to put in the extra care sometimes to get the creases out of the dress, but overall it's nothing major. I think that 75 is a little bit pricey for this dress, but if you use the 20 off 50, you have a pretty good dress for a very good price. On the Lulu's website, I will be giving this a five out of five rating, but I just wanted to get very nitty gritty and just let you guys know all the details about this dress in this video. I would love it if you guys would leave some of your favorite places to shop for dresses in the comments below. The hunt is on and I would love your input. And also, can you guys let me know if I left anything out of this review, if there's anything else that you were wondering about the dress. Everything that I included in this review is all the stuff that I wonder about before I buy something. So if I missed something and there's something that I didn't address in this video, please let me know in the comments and I will make sure that I address it either in the comments or in my next video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on your input and thoughts on the dress that I chose for this month. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.